Welcome to The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, on day 53. We're playing the Rift version on an Oculus Quest 2 through Virtual Desktop. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. It'd be great if you were one of them. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game. Any tips or tricks for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners or ideas of what we can do on the day-to-day. -day. We've got frickin' mess here. Pardon my French, but um, we're not gonna clean it up today. We had so much fun with the AR yesterday, I thought we'd try it again. Although that one's in bad condition. We still have... That one's in pretty good condition. Maybe that'll be our backup. Bad condition, medium condition, it's probably on the table. We had one in probably perfect condition because, okay, what are we missing here? Is it that one? No. We do have one in, in mighty fine condition, I would say, because I think we built two yesterday specifically to take out. Now we gotta figure out which one it is. I mean, that one's not too bad. Oh, that doesn't help. Might just end up having to build another one. So I'm not seeing one that's good enough for us to take, aside from the one. Hey, look at that. I didn't put those that way. I actually put them facing down. Well, that's interesting. Um, do we have... There's our National Guard knife, so we'll take that along. This is probably a sidearm from yesterday. I mean, that's good enough condition. Seems a little bit worn. Ay, ay, ay. Going to have to spend an entire day sorting this out. Shotgun... No. Okay, so we have one AR that's pretty good. We probably have enough to make another. Um, we should take one more backup. Nine millimeter. But again, finding it is a, is a different thing. I think these are all trash. That's how I had it before, and somehow they turned the other way around. Unless I still have them in my pack. I don't think so. Let's check. Oh, I do. Okay. So there's our backup of those. We just need one more AR. So we'll just go over here and build one. I think we'll build some more ammo. And then hopefully we, we get a good draw. Okay. That's stored. One of the things I noticed is I let the paper go last time and it knocked over all the ammunition. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to try some full auto today. So ammo is a bit more important than it was yesterday. Uh, only 96. Oh man. So we went through um, something like 100 and. 30 rounds yesterday, so I don't know if we're going to have enough to go full auto for much. And 97 for the 9 mil. So we do have backup stuff. Uh, what's best here? Because we're running low on things. Yeah, we're running low on protein. Um, durability is very important. And the beignet, this is going to drop our sugar down. I don't think we need the increased health today. Mm. But you know what? Mm. We have the option, so I'm going to take it rather than regret it. Mm. All right. Let's get on out. So if there's nothing entertaining, such as patrols or loot or cash, 
thought we'd go somewhere where there's more humans, because uh, we didn't have any humans yesterday. Early herd. So we got an elite tower patrol at Memorial Lane. That's at least something. Elite tower patrol at Bywater. So the Bywater, that's going to be full of people now. We got a tower patrol and then a delayed herd and then all the people that are normally there at the Bywater. And it's pretty bright. So let's go there. It's going to be pretty lit with all the people that are usually there and a patrol. So we'll see how the AR fares against patrols. So, yeah, somebody mentioned the, the, the fire rate toggles on both sides. So there you have it, it is, but the, this side's kind of covered by the, the weapon information. The other thing is that it resets anytime you travel. So we want it on single shot. And we'll switch this one to single shot as well. Hopefully it'll stay when it's in the pack. The other thing I wanted to test, maybe I'll test it later, was um, I know you can hold it to kind of reduce the recoil, but I was wondering if you were to like hold it down like that, is the recoil going to be just as bad? Or maybe the physics will keep it down. So you know what? Let's try that first. We'll go for full auto. If I can get my my flicking finger on there and we'll try this I want to see if I can keep it down it's gonna be a bit hard to aim down sights like this but I mean we're talking full auto you don't really need to aim so let's see what the recoil does with this setup whoa okay <laughs> not so good where'd our nine mil go Wouldn't be surprised if I tossed it there. It's not in our holster, and I'm not seeing it on the ground. That would be unfortunate if we lost a 9 mil that fast, but... Let's get that back in. Uh, I'm not sure I tested that theory well enough. Who's that? Is that them? I haven't thrown any knives very recently. Still got it. What I don't got is my 9mm, which must have gone flying. I was going like this with it. And then probably went to grab him. But, I mean, stuff happens. Ooh, our flashlight. Maybe that'll help. Stuff happens and weapons sometimes get lost. But that was quick. And I'm not seeing anything. So... A little death from above. So I think it's uh, adios to that 9 mil. It just, I'm going to have to watch the replay to see what <laughs> actually happened to it. Oh, it went in our pack. I meant to check that. Okay. So are we still on full auto? Because I still want to test this. interesting because when it doesn't bust through my arm it actually stays down I think so if I hold the gun instead of my arm I think that's really helping with the recoil of course we Um, you know, headshots is what you need here, so. Recoil might actually help. We don't need that one. That one's empty. It is busy. Okay, let's, uh... 
Oh. Forgot to charge it. Silly me. All right. So, a bit busier than, uh, whoops, than yesterday. Butterfingers. Nope. We're going to burn through the ammo pretty, pretty quick. Somehow I stored my 9 mil in my pack. I should have checked there earlier. It did occur to me, and then I got distracted. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Yeah, you can't shoot them. I've tried. Um, humans, you can... Uh, shoot in the body and it matters. So, maybe when we encounter the humans we'll try that full auto thing again. Although... It's almost guaranteed to not be practical. Because, you know, having to reload and charge the weapon, you don't want to have to do that if it can be avoided. And the single fire is really effective. Not much loot, though. So in the video, you're seeing a left eye perspective. That's just the way the recording goes. And I'm actually aiming with my right eye. So I am aiming down sights, but you're seeing it um, from the perspective of my other eye just due to the recording setup, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because aiming down sights really obscures what you're looking at. And I mentioned this in the comments, you know, because you're aiming for the head, you know, if you've got the head in your sights, you really can't see anything because, well, the body's below it and your rifle's covering up that part. Surprised I haven't run into a, the patrol yet, and I haven't heard any gunfights. So I would think if they ran into some of the other NPCs, they would have had a little kerfuffle already. I'm gonna switch this back to fully auto and we'll try that again. I just have to aim for heads. Okay. This might be better, but it's a bit harder to see. A bit harder to aim down sights like that. So that is in front of me, right? Yeah. It is quiet. She sounded closer than she is. The uh, lateral is a bit of a problem now, though. So maybe, can I go down there? That might be good. Oh, I can't thread it through the trigger guard. What was that? It's on. How much ammo we got? 
Yeah, so you don't need headshots on them. Guy's got armor. Okay, backing off a bit. All right. Now where'd our nine mil go again? Uh, well, we got some loot now, at least. I dropped it somewhere over here. Yeah, there we go. When things started to heat up. So yeah, the fellas with armor, it's kind of random. I mean, if you hit them in the head, it's obviously better, but... Can take a lot of shots. And then I opted there to try to back off for cover and then reload, but then well, on the fly decision go at her with the knife. How's our health looking? Yeah, we didn't take that much damage there. Anything else? I don't see a... Usually they drop a recipe. I don't really need all any recipe. I have them all, but uh, it's the principle of the thing. What is my recipe? E. Oh, well. Make sure I'm not missing any loot. It's kind of dark over here. And these bricks. All right, we're down to eight rounds. <laughs> 14 in there, so I think we better go back to single shot. Well, this isn't going well. What are you guys, twins? <laughs> Click. <laughs> Somebody's on the other side of the truck. Ooh, a lock. There you are. Are you one of our patrolies? I guess so. Click, click. So, that's it for the AR. We, uh, we burned through that, um, some 150 rounds real quick. We got a bow out of this somehow. Is that even a crafted bow? What is that? It just said bow. It's been so long since I... I don't... Am I wrong? Have I seen a bow like this? It's not a crafted bow that I've seen, unless I'm so used to the composite or uh, compound. That I forgot what the recurve looks like. Shoe I'll take. So we're almost at quarter bells already. And yeah, 85, and we've got a backup. This one's not gonna jam soon. Mm, a lot of walkers over there. So it's usually some humans over here by by this uh, sawmill, right? We do have bandages and medicine, so we can. 
We can light it up a bit. We could use a little more health. Now, I thought there were humans over here. Nope, no one patrolling. Let's turn that off. Now, if we go down here, there's a little spot that usually has some loot. Let's try to go uh, a little bit <laughs> incognito now. Instead of all the noise of gunshots. Although, it's a nice visual of the sun. Did that one see us over there? No, moving away. Just a warning. I thought my flashlight is off and I still have kind of a line of sight light. There, now it's off. Okay. We got somebody over here. No, just this one. Sound can be deceiving. So in there, I think we can probably find some loot. Need that back, please. There you go. Ah, got us. Just a little too close. And this guy's got armor, but we can get the back of his head. Let's grab him. Bend over, please. Insert knife. What do we got here? Just a screwdriver? I'll take it. Maybe we'll go up to the office and then we'll... Adhesives. And then we'll call it a day. Yeah. Ooh. I can't say I've been down here, you know. As the days drag on, I end up exploring some little nooks and crannies. I was going for the flashlight there. Pretty sure there's a skiff over there. Actually, no, it's up there. It's a little further than I thought, I guess. Let's go to the map. Yeah, we're here. We gotta go up there. So we're actually pretty far from the skiff. So we'll just go up to the office and then we'll start, uh, start beating feet. Is that food? No, that's just scrap. Where's that coming from? Somebody's up here. No? Okay. I already have two of those trains, but what the hell. Maybe there'll be some orphan child in the expansion that I'll want to gift another train to. Anybody up here? Down there, over there. Yeah, it's getting a bit getting a bit crowded. Okay. You were going to push away first. Where's that? They can lunge at the last second there, so you don't want to rush up to them. That was about the closest you can get to those without getting the, uh, the pestilence. Going back to the knife, we got plenty of durability. Heading for the skiff. Yeah. 
Yeah, these guys can be a bit tricky sometimes with their flailing hands. Because the knife will hit their hands. What do we want to do first? Is that it? Did we miss it? Is it down there? No. Still further. Just up in here, and we're we're good. Just at the bells. I'm not gonna stick around for the bells today. Oh, well, a little further, I guess. Um, because we really don't have that much ammo. I mean, well, I guess we have plenty of ammo for the nine millimeter. Maybe probably sixty rounds left. Yeah. No, eighty rounds left. Full. Okay. So do a little inventory management. Uh, we'll ditch the cigarettes. I think we pick some up. We'll lock. And what's that? Is that a can of soda over there? No, more cigarettes. Surprises by the skiff. Is that not coming out? Oh. What's that? Got something to say? All right. One more for the road. You say that, and then it turns into like four or five. That's a nice one to end off on. That I uh, had to say it. Seems like it's shooting high. There we go. course. Can't just leave well enough alone. Alright, I don't see any of them heading to the skiff. I hear one, but I don't see them, so I'm not going to look back. We just won't look back. There we go. Perfect timing. So that was a pretty good run, loot-wise. Yeah, yesterday was kind of a bust, but uh, here we got a couple boxes of stuff from the patrols, and then uh, a bunch of uh, loot off the ground, you know, filled up the pack. That's what you want. And uh, that managing the, the recoil seemed to work pretty good, so that's a, that's a nice little find place an object above your AI's barrel to keep the, the barrel rise down. Yeah, we can use some meds and get to scrapping. Not those, those are my weapons. I mean, this probably doesn't make up for all the ammo we used in the last two days, but it's not nothing. Nothing would be worse. And uh, nothing happens quite a bit. Now, can you scrap the train? You cannot scrap the train. There's our choo-choos. Uh, there. um, is another one going to fit? You can only pick things up the one way, so putting them down the way you want can be a bit tricky. Can you guys get any... Uh... Tough. 
Heute. Okay, okay. We're on a on a roll here. And easy does it. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Now hopefully those will be in the same spot. Like everything else is. Come uh, come morning. So there's the uh, compound bow. See, I think the actual the other bow says crafted bow. That's another compound. But I'm kind of kind of want to make it crafted, just to see if it's the same or if I'm crazy. Day 53, you know, I might I might just be crazy. It's a laminated bow. It does it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? But we got we got lots of gear here, so let's see. No, it's no, yes, no, it's the same. For a second there, it looked all wood, but this is the same bow. I am crazy. It is day 53. Yeah, it's just been so long since I used one of these instead of the compound that I kind of lost track of what it looked like. But lots of bows now. Throw a knife. Come up with a gun. So those other nine mils disappeared. I don't want to lose track of that. Uh, National Guard knife. I don't have a lot of sharp objects to, to make more knives, so I like the National Guard knife, even though it's just a reskin of the uh, of the shiv. Exactly the same functional wise. Okay. Another our other AR. That's pretty good. Seems like it's bedtime. There you go. And so. Day 53 grinds to a halt. This is The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, the Rift version, played on an Oculus Quest 2 through virtual desktop. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, and I'd love for you to be one of them. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or the game. Any tips or tricks you have for The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, or ideas of what we could do in the coming days. As the story is done, we're just uh, experimenting with weapons, tactics, all that good stuff. And keep an eye out for the free DLC Aftershocks coming out any day now. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you next time.